This video is going to be rather important for everyone out there who is interested in indicators, PineScript and screening, because you are looking at the first iteration of the official Pine Screener on TradingView. That's right, you've got the Pine Screener on TradingView right here before your eyes. And I'm gonna show you how this tool works and give you the educational resources you need to really understand this tool. Now, the first thing you'll see, head to tradingview.com, head your mouse over, hover your mouse over products, go down to screeners, and you're going to see a screener that says Pine. In this instance, it's currently still in beta. So if you're watching this video, just know there are improvements to come. And if you're watching this video well into the future and it's no longer in beta, well, we're gonna have an updated video for you that you should go watch that goes deeper into those latest features. But for now, we just click and we end up on the Pine screener just like this. Now, before we get started, there are two things everyone must know when they get started with the Pine Screener. First of all, you must come prepared with your watch list. Secondly, you must come prepared with indicators that you have favorited. So you've pressed the star icon on them because ultimately the way this is going to work is you are going to create a highly specific curated watch list of all the symbols that matter to you. And then you are going to layer on a screener or an indicator that you've coded or that's in PineScript on top of that. So as you can see here, I have a watch list already called day trading list that I'm going to use for this tutorial. I click day trading list. I've got 60 symbols right here. It's got equities, crypto, Forex. It's got a little bit of everything on it. Large caps, medium caps, you name it. It's all here. It's a pretty diverse list. If you don't know how to create a watch list, just remember we have got over 400 videos on our YouTube channel that show you step for step how to create a watch list. And our help center has articles as well. As you can see right up here at the top right, it says watch list details and news. Go ahead and click. And right here, you'll see that we've got our day trading list. This is our watch list. I can add symbols to this watch list by clicking this plus button. Just go ahead. I can click plus. I can click plus on any symbols that are of interest to me, QQQ. Uh, let's add NVIDIA, let's add XAUUSD, let's add this BT, BTC USDT. And with each plus, I've added it to my watch list. Here's NVIDIA, and I'm just expanding the watch list. So that's effectively how you can get started with a watch list. Now, next up, we've got our list. Just refreshed it, 65 symbols based on the symbols we just added. And now I'm going to want to layer on a pine indicator now every indicator and strategy on trading view is coded in pine script so this applies to built-in indica indicators like rsi and indicators coded by you and people you may know or people who are coding in pine you can see i've got some custom pine indicators also in my favorites list what i'm going to do here is just click relative strength index so now what I'm doing is I'm applying the indicator relative strength index on this watch list I made of 65 symbols. Remember, remember I could have made this 100 symbols, 150 symbols, and still had this very specific indicator, RSI, being layered on top of that. Now, as you'll notice, the second I added the indicator, I have this scan button, and I also have all of these filters now that I can access. Well, these filters come directly from the indicator. In fact, if I click the drop down and click settings, you may notice something rather interesting here. This is the settings menu that you know and love on the chart for RSI. So I can adjust these settings to then flow the data back through my Pine Screener with those updated settings. But before I do anything, I've noticed here, I haven't run any scan. So I'm just gonna click scan. And now you can see it's updated. We've got our RSI, our plot, our RSI based MA. There's no upper or lower Bollinger Band data at this time because I really haven't activated it in the settings menu. And actually at this time, I don't want to activate it. I wanna keep this tutorial focused and let's just look for symbols that are specifically trading with an RSI above a certain level. So I'm going to go ahead and click RSI, click manual setup above value. Let's do above 60. So it's, you know, it's kind of high up on the RSI scale. So I've added that indicator or sorry, I've added that, that filter to the indicator. But you can see here, I need to rescan. So I'm going to click rescan. It applies 60. I've got six symbols here six symbols that are above 60. Fairly interesting stuff. Okay, but let's talk more about how that's being calculated. Well, if I go to relative strength index again, you'll see here I have my time interval of one day. If I click one day, I can change this to another time interval. 
So maybe I want to see RSI over 60 on a one hour basis. Click scan. Now I have 20 symbols. So you have full control over the time interval as well. Now I want this RSI over 60 to be calculated though daily. Maybe I'm a little bit more long term. In addition, I can go to settings. And because I'm doing this over 60 on a daily time interval, you know, that means this length is 14 or 14 days. If it was hours, it'd be 14 hours. If it was weeks, it'd be 14 weeks. But it's days, so let me go to 30 days. And let me also change the source to open, high, low, close, divided by four. My smooth moving average here, that's fine. You know what? Actually, why don't we see if we can add some Bollinger Bands. Let's make this 50 to make it long-term, 50 days. Bollinger Bands, standard deviation two. Let's click apply. Okay, let's rescan. And now what you'll notice is we even have our upper Bollinger Bands now added to this specific scan and only three symbols meet this criteria. So this is really interesting stuff, as you can see. And as you get better at it, you'll understand how to create the perfect watch list, then add your specific indicator, then add the filters that you need. Now, once again, all of the filters you see here are the settings that come with this indicator. So let's dive into that a little bit more and unpack that. But first, I want to make sure, so I'm going to remove this indicator, so it's going to reset everything. I want to make sure everyone watching this video has a good understanding of how to favorite indicators. Because ultimately, if you come to the Pine screener and haven't favorited any indicators, you're not going to see anything here. So what I'm going to do quickly is head over to our super charts. I've got a chart here of Bitcoin. And what I want to make sure I demonstrate now is, well, how did I get all those indicators in the drop down on the Pine Screen indicator? Pine Screener. So I'm going to click Indicators, Metrics, and Strategies at the top. And then as you'll see, there's Technicals and Community. Technicals and Community, as well as Financials, are effectively what we get to see of all the indicators on TradingView that are coded in PineScript, indicators, strategies, profiles, patterns. So I'm gonna go to indicators. And for some of these built-in indicators, I'm just gonna favorite a few more. Let's remember this, chop zone, let's add gaps, let's add momentum, let's even add price target and open interest. Now I'm gonna to go to community. Well, community is fantastic because as you can see, these are the authors who are coding these indicators. You can follow them, boost them, read their work, check out their coding, send them a DM, network with them as you need. They are coding all of these indicators. What I'm going to do though now is check out some of the trending indicators. Volume order block sounds interesting. Trend line breakout navigator sounds interesting. Momentum shift, trend wave bands. Wow, I'm just going to favorite all these because they look so fascinating. So I've added these specific favorites. Now I exit out. Now you guessed it. I'm actually going to go back to tradingview.com. I'm going to go to products, screeners, pine. Now here I am on the pine screener. Got the watch list I want to screen for, day trading list, 65 symbols. Now check this out. You ready? Click drop down. Look how large my list is now. I've added all of those new indicators. I can do trend wave. I can do all of the new specific indicators I added. There's chop zone. Remember I said, let's remember chop zone. There it is. I click the favorite. Now it's here. I can even utilize gaps. So I'm going to click gaps. And as you can see here, I've got drop downs that are now specific to the gaps indicator. I can add true, click scan. I've got one gap here right now for Bank of America. So this is a really wonderful tool for combining your indicators to your watch list and running scans on all of them, especially if you are utilizing indicators that you have coded, you work with others, you have, uh, you know, you're using strategies or indicators that are in the PineScript community. You can all gather around right here in the Pine Screener. You can add your specific indicator as you need and then run these highly sophisticated and advanced screens on the watch list, utilizing the tools of PineScript to screen for the symbols that matter to you. Now, to end this video, I want to make sure I do just demonstrate one more thing so that there's no confusion here. And that is the element that you have the ability to customize your screener similar to how you might customize some of your other screeners. So for example, if there is an indicator you're using and there's, you know, let me actually remove this and I'll go to RSI because I am familiar with that at this time. Let's do screen. 
Say, for example, there is a, an indicator that you're using. You can move around these specific columns here to fit your needs. So if you want you know, RSI to be the focal point all the way over here to the left, you can move it around as needed. In addition, you can click the plus and you can actually hide some of the other sort of uh, uh, you know, columns that maybe you don't want to focus on. So in this example, let's just say I only wanted to focus on RSI and RSI based moving average. I've really now just cleaned up this PineScript indicator. I'm only looking at RSI. I'm only looking at RSI based moving average and they are right here now before my eyes and I can filter as needed. So, and by the way, you can always click to adjust the filter highest to lowest or lowest to highest as well. And the same is true if you have another sort of yeah, indicator filter here in this column, do the same thing. Another aspect is that if you're not seeing a filter that you're used to, just click the plus and you're gonna be able to have some additional uh, plots or filters that you can add to your screener. Also, you've got these alert conditions as well, which is going to be rather fantastic for those of you who are utilizing alerts in a super advanced way. You can layer on these alerts as needed. Now to end this video, I am just gonna go back to super charts and then I want to go to indicators. I'm going to type in RSI. And just to really close the loop here, I want to show everyone RSI on the chart and just you know tie the whole video together now. So here's Bitcoin on a daily chart, here's daily and here's RSI. Recall I said RSI over 50. You can see it's over 50 here. If I double click on RSI and go to inputs, here's the settings menu that I can customize. All of this eventually feeds back into the Pine indicator. So it's also going to be helpful for you to really understand the indicator that you're bringing over to the Pine screener. Sorry, I said Pine indicator, I meant Pine screener. And here is where you can get a feel for that. You're adding the indicator to your chart, you're opening up the inputs and you're understanding exactly what this indicator is showing you. By the way, for many of these indicators, we do have full tutorials. Like I, we'd have a full video tutorial on RSI that you can watch. And we have endless help center content for these indicators as well. So you have all the tools you need to combine these features and fully understand the Pine Screener. And this video is designed to help you get started with the Pine Screener in beta. So thanks so much for watching. And we look forward to seeing how you all use Pine Screener. And of course, be sure to share with us your feedback. Your feedback, your feedback helps us build bigger, better, and of course, improve the product with your direct insights in mind. Thanks so much for watching.